What up, what up, y'all? Tim Z here, back at it again, like you can always expect. No, I mean, and today I want to talk about the CRK Umnum Zan a little bit, right? Or Zan for short. All right, you know, I, they they picked a really fancy name for an American brand with a bunch of American people that can't pronounce words that well. Anyways, anyways. <laughs> Yeah, got to start it off like that, right? Anyways, a lot of people talk about how the Umnumzan has a stiff lock bar, action stiff, whatever, right? Now, this one is pretty new, okay? It takes quite a bit of force to deploy the blade, okay? Now, let's talk about this. You see this clip, it's resting against the lock bar, okay? The lock bar is cut all the way down here and it's resting against the lock bar. It's providing tension on the lock bar and it's almost acting like a lock bar stabilizer, you know, providing extra tension. But we got one right there, right? From stopping the blade, I mean the lock bar from over traveling and becoming loose. Now, look, it is resting there. And if I hold this knife right here and I press the lock bar, can you see that? Let's try to keep it on a line so you can see. It's kind of hard to hold it like this. It's like, there you go. Anyways. I don't know if you can see it. It's really shitty on cam. All right. Oh, wait, the block, the blade's already... No wonder it's not moving. <laughs> the blade was pushed. All right, there you go. You see it? Now you see it. Now you see it. The blade, I mean, the frame lock is being pushed by the clip. So let's take off this clip for a second. Because right now, this thing is stiff, you know? That thing fits in there real stiff too. All right, and this is just a reference. Large 31, right? Large 31. Look how smooth that is, it's glass. Oh, it has glass blasted scales too, right? But that's freaking smooth oh my bad it's hard to do on cam you know I, I never want to hit a blade onto the tripod or something else that I don't want to hit it's hard to do on cam but it's very easy to do in person right and look at the lock bar it's even further in I think more lock bar engagement and look very easy to push this thing. It's much easier. It's not even close. I want my Umnum Zan to become like that, but I don't think it will. I don't think this knife is meant to become like that. And before some of y'all smart asses come here, rip me in the comments, say, oh, it's not supposed to be like that. Umnum Zan's the boss, you know? <laughs> yeah, whatever. So, all right, clip is off. No more pressure right there. You see that mark from the clip? Okay, it's still stiff, okay? But I'll say there's a slight improvement, okay? A slight improvement. Now let's look at pressing the lock bar. Yeah, that's much easier, okay? It's, it's still tight, I mean, let's be real. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not doing this for bullshit views and lying to y'all telling y'all things that don't work, you know, like those ads for um, pills and shit, you know, no, I'm not getting that in, <laughs> into that shit. <laughs> yeah, look at that shit. It is still stiff, but it's slightly better, okay? Now, what percentage would I say is better? All right, if I'm not here just fumbling with a lock bar, just pushing on it, and let's get this straight right here. This edge is pretty, um, 
I'm not sharp, but angular, okay? It's like 90 degrees pretty much. There's nothing like bevel too much there. Very small bevel. So on the thumb, it's rough, okay? But if you're not sitting here fidgeting with the lock bar like this, like an idiot, okay? And you just there to close the knife, it's easy, all right? Opening the blade, still stiff. I know some people can flick theirs out. They can spidey flick theirs even. Uh, crazy stuff, crazy stuff. I don't know. But look, if you if you take off the clip and you're just wanting to close the blade, no playing around, it's much more manageable. All right, so now let's get to this clip. And oh, damn it, do I have anything here that's flat surface? All right, I'm gonna have to use this box here, tactile turn. Yeah, I got number 20, guys. <laughs> number 20 from that last drop. It sold out in like one minute. So right here, there's basically, this box is not perfectly flat, but there's no air between the flat and how it would be screwed into the frame, right? The scale. So you want it to have some gap, okay? If you're holding it flat like this and there's no gap, that's telling you something, okay? And let's not forget, screwing in this clip into the Zahn is very tight. It's a very tight fit. It, it like forces this thing even deeper because the cutout for the clip is recessed, all right? Creating even more tension. Now, I believe that there should be some gap here, all right? There should be like a little bit. It shouldn't be perfectly flat here because by the time you screw it in and you account for the recess, it's gonna be further in. Also, since it's further in, like I, it's so much tension, even with, with the blade closed, that I can't even push it in there, okay? It, it takes a screw to pull it through, like pull it into that recess. It, really does all right it's still sticking out but look if i open this blade and i didn't even screw this thing in yet which will pull it down another millimeter or two it's gonna be resting on the lock bar even when the blade is open the pocket clip is to keep the knife clipped to your pocket all right, we don't need this thing clipped to your pocket while the blade's open. We don't need that much tension where it's like this, right? Pushing a, with a lot of tension, a lot of pressure on the lock bar. So we're gonna remove some pressure, okay? Damn it, this thing's tight. So we're gonna remove some tension there. And I propose that we do this really Bush League way, you know. Um, I don't have a freaking nothing metal here damn it you know i don't really got a, i don't got a bench block here nothing all right so let me use the back of my brass tweezers and i'm going to push i'm gonna pull all right on this clip a little bit and i know some of y'all like tim z you're freaking crazy all right so now i'm bending this clip okay i feel it bending and you don't want to bend too much at a time let's get it real because if you have to bend it back you're gonna be screwed in this case, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm not too scared of that. There's clips out there that can be bought. Now, it's still... I, I'm going to push on this until I see like a slight gap, all right? A slight gap. I don't want to overdo it. All right, yeah, 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 I might have overdid it. Um, now, there's no, oh, uh, wait, is there a gap? Yo, there's some gap. All right. I, I want to do a little bit at a time, you know, guys, because the thing is, when you bend metal, it's hard to bend it back. And if you do bend it back, you can fatigue the metal and it might snap one day. But titanium is pretty solid and pliable, I guess which is why it's a lock bar, but, you know, tension might be a little lighter, but it's very ever so slight lighter. You know, it's not a 
crazy amount lighter. It, I'm still pushing on it. Clip is okay. I mean, I, I could, I know some of y'all are gonna say, why don't you just pull on the clip while it's on the frame? I don't wanna do that, I don't wanna damage anything. Take it off again. And now, bend it some more. Oh, that man, if I slipped on that, that would have hurt. <laughs> that was shit would have hurt, guys. All right, there's a lot of gap there now. All right, that's like major gap, like a millimeter. All right, no more. I'm not doing any more than that because there's just no way. That gap I created is a lot more than it was before. It's not even debatable anymore. I see a big gap, you know? So let's pull the pocket clip back on. All right, it's nice. And you know, CRK always has nice machining. All right, so while the blade is closed, there is still no gap, which is good. We don't want gap when it's closed, right? It is not too stiff here. So let's open the blade. Now, it's still resting. But let's see. Okay, um, it is still a little bit better, and it is damn it, it's a little bit better, but it's still stiff. Okay, it is still stiff because I'm still pushing on it, but it's slightly better. You know what? Since this is for the video. And I, I'm making it for you guys. And if you're still watching at this point, I don't care. I'm going to go ham now. I'm going to bend that clip back. Ready? Bend this fucker back. Oh, I kept it clean the whole video. Damn it. I'm about to break the thumb. Oh. <laughs> Yo. All right. That is a pretty significant gap. But I'm not happy with that gap. Let's, let's bend it even more. All right. Ooh. Now, that's a, oh, that's a fucking big ass gap. Yeah, guys, <laughs> that's a big ass gap. And uh, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Let's see what it comes out to on here. I know some of y'all will say, you idiot, you idiot, you know, whatever. You can say whatever you want, but it's my knife. I do what I like, right? So, okay. knife is closed and i can see a gap through that very ever so slightly gap and yeah that, that's a definite gap all right now opening it my thumb is pretty tired though so don't don't mind me there's no more gap i mean there's no more pressure on the lock bar anymore while it's open all right, there's a good mill, millimeter between that shit. Maybe a 1.5 millimeters even. All right, so now I can depull, uh, press on the lock bar. You see that? It traveled all the way out enough for the blade to come down. And it's still not making contact. You see that light? You see my finger? Yeah. So in terms of getting rid of lock bar pressure from the clip, this did it, all right? I bent it pretty hard, but I'm gonna leave it like this, guys. See that? Yeah, so now it's as if there's no clip on the knife, but it's still enough to keep it in your pocket. Let's get it for real. Uh, no bullshit, it's gonna keep it in your pocket, okay? This thing's a heavy knife. This thing can go nowhere. All right, oh, I was trying to flick this. I forgot this is not my other Chris Reeve. So there you go, guys. No more pressure on the lock bar. Nope, no more pressure. And uh, yeah, this should save your ass from having to buy a different clip, okay? 
Who wants to spend $100 on a clip out there? Anyways, I, I really rather not. Who knows if I will in the future, but I might. Maybe not. I don't know. We don't know. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. If this helped you, let me know in the comments. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post a lot of shit. <clears throat> Why did I have to say that word right before I ended the video? I'm not sure. Yeah. So, uh, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Tim Z USA. And until next time, Tim Z out.